<laughs> they, because of a sexual impulse. One night to fulfill a sexual desire, their whole lives are ruined. <laughs> and the whole song is actually, to me, a very despairing song, but told with incredible, you know, joie de vivre and just fun. And um, sometimes I always wonder whether people read the final section or hear it, you know. It's, you can't get much more bleaker than, you know, I swore, I promised I'd love you till the end of time. You know, I'll keep that promise, I'll keep that vow, I'll love you till the end of time. So now I'm praying for the end of time to hurry up and arrive. <laughs> I just think that's about as true and as bleak a thing as you could say about, you know, the sexes and how they get together. So it's interesting that the last two songs of the record, one of them is a, a comic song that has a very dark underpinning, and the other is a very romantic, soaring, somewhat dark song that actually is very ecstatic. Um, even though it's about crying, ultimately it's about loving someone because they're not afraid to cry. Bottom. That's all it was. It was uh, just before I just remember that before anything. <laughs> It just felt like it had to be that rhythm at first. I mean, it goes to a lot of other places from that. But I love that. I love that. <laughs>